It's bigger than crypto. 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 <laughs> it's your boy Crypto Blood. What's going on? Happy Monday. Hope hope you're getting started. I know it's it's tough, man. Mondays are tough. I haven't even got my coffee yet. No cigar. Ah, I'm doing that all after I get done with this video. Um, again, welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. Uh, today we're going to be taking uh, kind of off the beaten path, go back down memory lane with uh, a few things um, from, I don't know if you guys remember or even used, I used to participate in um, Lyndon's Second Life. Uh, so there's a little uh, article kind of related to that. And I'm, you know, we'll get into it. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. But first, I want you guys to get over to CryptoBlood.io. Check out the uh, Uncle Cliff's area. We got some uh, T-shirts for sale, also. And then also one other thing. Um, many, many people have been reaching out to me asking for guidance on trading, and um, you know, help with like certain charting, certain cryptos tokens or whatnot you can always do that and get in touch with me and sign up for that service at cryptoblood.io and if you um, hover over contact me you'll see ta services i'll be able to assist you guys with um with that so if you guys just want a technical analysis uh, video um or fundamental video only um, or both is three ETH. So um, th I'm going to add one more option in here for um, tutorials and training. So there will be another option for training on technical analysis for trading pretty much any asset, any any type of uh, financial instrument. The rules are pretty much the same. You can just apply them to different. Um, different assets so jump over there again cryptoblood.io hover over contact me and then click the uh, TA services link so what's going on people I you know I I don't know if you guys probably you guys probably did read the bare naked wealth report that's out the, the latest one from Uncle Cliff um, you can get that at half past human dot com um, I Man, when it came out, I was actually at the cigar bar watching a football game. And um, when I got home, I finished watching um, the Three Amigos live stream. So I didn't even get a chance to read any of it. I'm going to do that today once I get back. But um, you can definitely get it at halfpasthuman.com. So check it out. Let me know your thoughts about it. Don't share anything with me. Just, you know, you guys, I saw you guys talking um Talking about how, how it was a good um, a good report, so I'm I'm excited to really check this out. So let's take a look at the market cap real quick. We're sitting at 204 billion. That is 204 billion for the total market cap for cryptocurrencies. And I have to always say this: 240 billion is peanuts. It is nothing. Absolutely minuscule. Uh, when you look at the uh, other financial markets like Forex market trading seven trillion dollars in money uh, a day um, and that's probably peak peak trading day for FX is usually Wednesday as far as volume so um, Monday is it kind of goes from Sunday when it opens really low volume and it peaks at on Wednesday uh, usually Unless there's some like fundamental news that occurs, some sovereign uh, news that occurs, and it you know volume kind of speak peaks up or spikes up, but other than that, that just gives you an idea of how how much of of the um, infancy stage we are with this crypto stuff. So um, Bitcoin, um, we're gonna we're gonna go over the chart next. Bitcoin has made a huge uh, pop off the lows um, and I was I was looking for the candle to form to see how we were, would do 
uh, going into this week. So we'll go into that. Bitcoin Cash cooled off. If you guys recall, I tweeted out over the weekend uh, that it would be great if I could short Bitcoin Cash right now. And that was at uh, 1920, I think. So it's currently sitting at uh, 1100. So would have made like 48, 45% if I, uh, if I would have been able to short Bitcoin Cash. Um, but yeah, the alts are... Alts are looking good, man. Alts and, and uh, crypto assets are looking good. Look at all that green. It's bigger than crypto. So let's take a look at this chart really quickly. So, man, um, this today's candle, and this is on the day chart, guys. Today's candle is looking very bullish. Very bullish. However, let me just caution you guys. So what I need to see either today, tomorrow, probably tomorrow, it may be today, I'm not sure, but t definitely tomorrow. I need to see a close above this 45 degree line here, guys. That yellow line here. I need to see this one here. I need to see a close above that line for me, for me to be... Uh, feel good about this bounce so let's let's just keep an eye on that and so uh, let me zoom in that line to at today's price or candle that line will be 6700 um, so really tomorrow we probably want to I want to say probably above 6800 if we see a close above 67 6800 we're looking good people we're probably going to try to take that uh, last high out of 7,800. On our way to, you know what, Jupiter. Look at that. So let's um, let's see what happens. Like I said, I'm. If if you've been trading as long as I have, um, not saying I've been trading the longest, but I've been trading for about 13 years you learn to just be more flow with the markets be more reactionary instead of trying to have that ego in time bottoms and tops and say I called it and all that that'll that'll get you into trouble so you just let the charts tell you what to do you let the candles tell you what to do it's the easiest way to do it people so um, last thing not least though let's take a look at this uh, article <clears throat> out of coin telegraph and there is there's actually two articles i want to uh, look over <clears throat> so the first one is a uh, first ever blockchain protected virtual land auction so do you guys remember i said this at the beginning um second life i used to play on second life for a few years i would off and on i would play on you know get on there had an account or whatnot um i'm very surprised that Second Life hasn't really evolved and because they were kind of like the first that I knew of like digital if you want to call it digital currency um, it was centralized though uh, Second Life's currency uh, Linden Bucks I believe were centralized meaning controlled by uh, Linden Labs I believe is what the company's name is uh, I'm surprised they haven't shifted into a more decentralized like cryptocurrency um, token for for their platform I think they they probably would have gotten even more adoption if they if they did that um, but any at any rate um, I do want to say this is a tidbit maybe many of you don't know back in the early days when I got into cryptos around 2012 late 2012 there was a way for you to get Bitcoin by buying Linden Bucks. Let me know. Leave a comment in the in the section below and let me know if you guys remember that. I personally do. I I think I tried it like the 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 night I tried to get Bitcoin. I tried it. I tried to go that route. It was just too confusing. You had to go to this um, this exchange. I, it was I I couldn't figure it out. So I just went ahead and, and went to CVS and, and, and bought a. Uh, and sent my money over that way 
but uh Linden Bucks, yeah, you back in the day you were able to buy Bitcoin with Linden Bucks. So that was one gateway into cryptocurrencies is through Second Life essentially. You could buy the Linden Bucks and then go over and swap them. There was a little small market, vol you know, volume wasn't all that big, but you could swap the Linden Bucks for for Bitcoin. So let me know, people, if you guys remember that. Some of you early heads, old heads in the crypto game, if you remember that that time frame, that time period. But Decentraland is doing something uh, kind of similar. Um, I heard about their ICO a while back, um, but I never got into it. So let me know if you guys uh, mess with Decentraland. So Decentraland is saying that they are... Um, this their platform uh they made it easy uh made its way in onto the market and is using blockchain technology to secure virtual land ownership so that users can actually own the platform itself the company is also using a proprietary cryptocurrency as a means of internal um monetization the first ever land auction for the company will go live in december as the company sells the Genesis City uh, with coordinates 00. By utilizing the protective aspects of blockchain technology, the platform is able to both protect the ownership aspect as well as secure the rights to each parcel. Within each parcel, users are able to create and monetize any type of content they choose. Many have long believed in uh, believed it only a matter of time before the blockchain was used to rec uh, record real property through other um, though others have warned against the practice it has been no surprise the virtual world is taking the same concept and running with it yeah I'm uh, like I said I'm, I'm actually surprised that Second Life didn't jump on this and be ahead of the curve because they really were like the first digital currency that I knew online used online in, in a social way that was big enough at least i'm sure there may have been others but definitely the lending bucks were pretty pretty big and people were making a living off of second life like creating you could create like different objects in in uh if you, if you knew how to code you could create new different objects in linkedin not linkedin linden uh second life and people were selling those and people were buying, purchasing those different objects for, uh, in return for lending bucks, and people then would take the lending bucks and exchange them for real dollars. So that's crazy. Let me know if you guys remember that. And also, um, you know, I'm I'm just I'm surprised that we see stuff like Proppy trying to push the envelope before like something like Decentraland. And what do you guys think about virtual properties? online and on the blockchain is it is it a necessity are we a little bit too uh, too premature with the you know trying to get that whole concept going virtual assets or virtual properties I should say um, on the blockchain let me know your thoughts I think we are I think we're a little bit too too early um, with that so be interesting to hear what you guys think about that again make sure you like and subscribe and also um join that webbot chat room we, we're banging man we we got like almost 3800 people all together let me just do a quick uh so in the in the private webbot room we've got uh, 991 we've got uh let's see here we've got 1255 in the webbot crypto room and then we've got almost 600 in the main webbot room I don't know what Oliver King is doing here what the hell let's do this real quick people select delete oh no get out the way delete Delete, delete. Sorry, man. Sorry, Oliver King. I, I'm deleting your stuff on live. 
Well, it's not live, but you had like 900 of them messages in there. But definitely join us, man. We're, we're growing. We're having a lot of fun. And um, great community, great community. So that's, that's it, people. It's your boy Crypto Blood. It's bigger than crypto. Holla.